want to fix our lover's tree. I cracked the trunk of my departure where you flung your anger and there it spread our roots. I bent to bind them with my milky tears but only after the love was stripped from them because duty, my duties outshone my pain. I let the flowers in my hair die and my veil of rose petals drifted away in abandoned winds. I wore a collar of suit around my sleeping neck and I mistook your shadow as shade from the blinding sun and there I lived without a glimmer of his light or a morsel of your truth. I took my littlest finger which bore pain and drew broken hearts within the sky because it was during this time that I did not look up. I lived a life of savagery and nomads and spirits because I braved fearlessly, cared short, and moved along. I spread my soul. The lengths I ran to evade you were the same measures of my love, so the path I'd taken to get over you really had trailed me circles. I picked up a wooden stick along the way to iron my back because my secret heart had prayed the Lord's and I was stooped from all the begging. I found our lover's tree again and crawled into its knotted arms and noticed how each wooden teardrop was a love and memory. I looked into the green leaves that I was once sure did not exist and I saw each and every day since I was 16 and it's lush. I reached my hand and saw a sunflower's petal fade, my biggest finger and the texture and the webbing there, they compliment your name. I raised your face from the shadows, that was really where you were buried, and I kissed your earthly lips and then our lover's tree was saved. I told you that I loved you and that this love would be the longest and that every time I prayed at night I loved you 10 more ways. I buried all the darkness in my heart and not my mind because it was always my heart would save, my mind would go betray. I press you to my flower petal and there we melt away at the core of our lover's tree, strengthening the base.